Hey, good morning. I want to take some time to go through the baptism class for those of you who may not have been able to attend this past weekend. Uh, for years, I had wondered why Jesus um, in the Great Commission gives a prominence also to water baptism as, as he does to the great task of evangelism and, and also personal edification. Why is baptism so important? I think because it symbolizes one of the purposes of your life, an incorporation into the fellowship of God's eternal family. Baptism declares your faith, shares Christ's burial and resurrection, and symbolizes your death to your old life, and it announces your, your new life in Christ. It is also a celebration of your inclusion into God's family. I love the way uh, the Imperials years ago had a song, and it was called Water Grave. And, and in that song, they had the, in the lyrics, it said, I'm going down to the river, my Lord. I'm going to be buried alive. I'm going to tell my Heavenly Father, the man I used to be, finally died. And I think that really sums it up for us. Your baptism is a physical picture of a spiritual truth. It represents what happened to you the moment that God brought you into his family. And baptism doesn't make you a member of God's family. Only faith does uh, that. But baptism shows that you are part of God's family. And it's, uh, some have symbolized it to like a wedding ring. It's a, it's a visible reminder of an inward commitment that has been made in your heart. It's an act of initiation. We love to have you invite your family and friends to come and share that with you that throughout your life they can hold you accountable to the commitment that you've made, remembering the day that you were baptized and announcing to all of your friends and family that you were uh, going to go forward with Christ and live a life with him and be a part of the family of God. The Bible says that Jesus and the people that he makes holy all belong to the same family. And that is why he isn't ashamed to call us call us brothers and sisters. That's in Hebrews chapter 2 verse 11. Let that amazing truth just kind of sink in with you for a moment because Jesus makes you holy. Uh, God is proud of you and being included in God's family is is one of the highest honors, the greatest privilege that you and I can receive. There's, there's nothing else that even comes close to it. And we just really praise God for that privilege it says that in 1 Peter 4 and 16, praise God for the privilege of being in Christ's family and being called by his wonderful name. So how do we baptize here at the Grace Place? Baptism is by immersion, and that symbolizes the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus. It is that public declaration that we make. So we have a, a, a baptismal tank, a brand new one that's arriving here uh, for us for Easter Sunday. And uh, it's, we're going to break that in on Easter Sunday. It's going to be a fantastic time. And uh, we believe in complete immersion uh, for water baptism and symbolizing the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Going down into the water and coming back up. A new creation in Christ, it's a symbol of what has happened in our hearts and lives as we've received Jesus as our personal Savior and Lord. Why do we baptize? The primary reason is Jesus set the example for us. Uh, he, well, he asked John to baptize him in the, in the River Jordan. And, and so uh, he set the example for us from the beginning of how we should be baptized. And uh, that is through uh, the complete immersion. And and Jesus set uh, a wonderful example for us of how we're to go forward in obedience in that commitment. And it tells us throughout his word, one of my favorite passages, Colossians chapter 2, verse 12, And when you were baptized, it was the same as being buried with Christ, and then you were raised to life because you had faith in the power of God who raised you, who raised Christ from the dead. Uh, Acts chapter 2, 41 says, On the day, on that day, about 3,000 believed the me his message and were baptized. In Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 through 9, You were saved by faith in God, who treats us much better than we deserve. This is God's gift to you and not anything that you do you've done on your own. It isn't something that you have earned, so there is nothing that you can brag about. Talk for a moment about how you should prepare for your day 
uh, for being baptized. We want to encourage you, uh, if you like, bring an extra set of clothing. You can you can wear shorts, wear a bathing suit if you like underneath your clothing. Um, you can wear shorts, t-shirt, but we ask that it be dark colored. Uh, since we are going to get completely wet, we want uh, we want it to be dark clothing for you. And then we would ask you to bring a towel with you. We'll have some available if, in case you forget. Um, and uh, that uh, if you need anything else to, um, you know, you like to blow dry your hair or whatever, we have rooms where you can get dressed and, and get prepared uh, after baptism. When we uh, baptize, uh, we ask that those who are going to, to be a part of that, if they would like, have an opportunity to share a little bit of their Grace Place story their testimony about what God has done in their life. So you'll be given an opportunity to do that. Uh, And uh, that's before you you come into the baptismal. uh, And we would invite you to to share whatever is on your heart, to share whatever uh, God would, uh, your relationship with you, you and God, whatever God has done in your heart and life, your story. Because this is a special day between you and Jesus, your family and friends. We ask that uh, once you're in the baptismal tank, we're going to ask you to take a, a position that was going to kind of protect you uh, from getting water in your mouth and your nose, just to take your right hand and put over your nose like this and your left hand and take it and wrap it around your wrist. And I will grab on to your wrist here and hold the back of your head as we baptize you. We also want you to know that you can have other people that mean something in your life, uh, other Christians that have had a meaningful impact in your life. They can participate in this day with you. They can either be a part of it by coming into the baptismal uh, water with us, or they can stand on the outside uh, if they like. But we would encourage you to um, include others if you'd like. Uh, we just want to give them a little bit of a heads up, let them know that they also would need to bring uh, extra clothing and uh, that kind of thing if they're going to participate with us inside the baptismal tank. Uh, that's about uh, all of it uh, that we talked about in the class. And if there is uh, any questions that you have, feel free to contact me, Alan, at graceplaceaustin.com. I'd be happy to try to answer those for you. We're really looking forward to this day. It's going to be spectacular Easter uh, for all of us, and celebrating it by uh, water baptisms is, is just really putting an exclamation point on it, and I'm really looking forward to it. God bless you. Have a great day.